I know I've been saying that for like the last two videos, but this was actually pretty short. So I'm gonna try and keep this one under like 45 minutes. Ravens BBL is the only thing that can prevent World War III. I'm convinced. Maybe. What about Woe's BBL though? Like, matter of fact, that's what we need to do. We need to do like a BBL tier list. Anyways, this is Hive Mind. Uh, what's the best rap lyric of all time? Part one. I know it's part two. We'll get to that at some point. But it's part one. Let's check it out. Hey. Oh God, here we go. Oh, oh you seem supposed to lag right go. now. Okay. Now we got Childish Gambino, my swag Jehovah Witness, dude. It never take a holiday. <laughs> That's a good line. What's up, you're watching okay. Hive Mind, the most diminutive show on the internet. My name is Riley Zosman, and my petite co-host, Graydon. Hey, hey no we're cares. doing our search for the, the best rap lyric of all time. DJ Grant asked our Discord a simple question. What's the best rap lyric of all time? Today, we're going to review your responses to that question and rank them to your list style. Comment really? your favorite rap lyric down below. All right, before we do, make sure you like the video, subscribe if you want to see more HiveMindTV.com for our merch. Our pre-order is on the HiveMind Discord right now. Maybe last day. Either way, HiveMindTV.com. We also have our Patreon and our Cameo link to description if you'd like to support us. We have a drop on Copes' website, which is linked down there Let's as see, well. Man. And memberships are open on the channel. If you'd like to become a member, you get a bunch of exclusive emotes, extra content, roles during the live streams, etc. Thank you, everybody, who is supporting us in that way. You get a knife, too. You get a knife next to your name. Oh. You tricked me. First lyric, five O's on me like the Olympics from Earl Sweatshirt's 2010. Would you say Olympics? That's how he says it. Oh, got it. Yeah, What's that's how Earl? he says it. Is I really like this bar. I just like this song in general. There's a lot of really, really good bars on here. Um, but you know, are we doing this chilling style? Five O's on me like the Olympics. That song's great. Wow, forgot about it. it. So like right now, honestly, I know I, I just like every day. returned to that song recently. Yeah. It was like, oh my gosh, this is one of the best rap songs of the past couple of years. It's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So let's go through the entendres here. Five O's. Five O's on me like the Olympics. So that could be five ounces of something. Like five mm -hmm. ounces of weed. Mm -hmm. Like yeah. the Olympics. The Olympics logo is five circles. Or yeah. five O like the police is on me. Mm -hmm. And five O might be on you because you have five O's. Why is five O at the Olympics though? I've asked myself that question many times. Why do they need to be there? Yeah, you know, <laughs> seems like a simple security protocol would be fine, but it's always the police. Yeah, it seems really? like a bunch of buff athletes could take care of themselves too. <laughs> I do think the police at the Olympics would be kind of cool, like Sting opening the whole thing. You know what I mean? Oh, uh, that wouldn't be bad. Sting does the, all of the national anthems for all the countries. <laughs> oh Canada! Oh Canada! <laughs> What's the yes. US one? How does it go? This gets a big A Ain't for no me. Way. It's close to an S. This is one of my favorite. Like, I okay, we're doing clever. a super style. Uh, I'll say this one's like A. It's not the craziest one, but it's a really good one. Clever shit yeah. like this. I mean, you invented this kind of rap, so it's cool to see people <laughs> kind of following you. Right, Bruh. right. Especially Earl. Big A is cool. From Denzel Curry's Worst Comes to Worst, they draw guns, so how could lead erase me? Let's hear Denzel say it. They draw guns, so how could lead erase me? I'm Entendre's here. They're drawing their weapons on you. So drawing a gun is pulling a gun out. From your hip, usually. Usually. <laughs> it could be It could be a little shoulder. Right, it could be something. It could be like here. How could lead erase me? So lead is bullets. Bullets. <laughs> you know? Yep. When they say, like, you fill someone up with lead. <laughs> yeah, people say that. And it means just shooting them a lot. It okay? is classic. I don't think they're actual lead anymore. They don't want to poison the people they shoot. It's ethanol now. Yeah. Right? That's, what, that's what guns run on. Uh -huh. Corn. How could lead erase me? So that means, like, Death. erase me from existence. Death. Pencil has lead in it as well. <laughs> as well, yep. There's, like, a lot of things that connect, but overall, the sentence itself, like, they draw guns, so how could lead erase me? I like it, thinking about it like this. Like they're just drawing guns. They're like his mm. enemies are little babies. Oh, they're, like, like, they're drawing Bruh. guns. How right. could these little kids erase me? Like I hate to demean your drawing, but like you know what I mean. Yes. Like, you're demeaning Denzel as well, who went to art school and is like an actual illustrator and loves to draw. Well, drawing mm. couldn't kill anyone. Maybe it's not for babies. It's not <laughs> violent. Yikes. Denzel would probably say that his pen is lethal, though. Yeah, he would. <laughs> but his ops are not. I really mm. like all of the ingredients here, but I don't like the presentation. Fair enough. Yeah, like, like, like this is one of my favorite songs on No Mize, and this isn't even one of my favorite lines from it. Like, it's, you know, it's all right, but like, you know, 
I'll say this was like B. How everything's sitting this on the B. plate, yeah. B. but every ingredient was great. I think I'm going to give this a C. It just doesn't connect. It does, though. I like it as a B. I'll put a letter over my head and a letter over your head. Thank you. So what is your letter going to say? B. C. I think in this game, it's important that they know that we might disagree sometimes. Totally. Yep. Next one. Bitch, real G's move in silence like lasagna. S. Absolute classic. S. This like would be on the quarter. Th little... This is the rap lyric of all time not the best like this is the like if, if an alien came appeared in my room right now and asked what i'm doing I'd be like i'm watching a video about rap music and he'd be like what's rap music and i would i would show them this line or recite it myself or play it even and be like it's just a bunch of stuff like this i would turn that alien into the biggest rap like anthony fantano would be jobless jobless i'm telling you bro like, this is the rap lyric for real, for real. Lil Wayne was on there. <laughs> like it is. <laughs> say, real G's move in silence like lasagna. Bitch, real G's move in silence like lasagna. So, real G's, mm -hmm. meaning real gangsters, yes, move mm -hmm. in silence. You're not letting everyone know your next move. Like lasagna is a silent G in the word lasagna. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> what? It's a silent mode of transportation. What is? If you walk on lasagna, it, you can't be heard. It's like a silencer. <laughs> if you're sneaking up on people Brass. and you time it out right that you're walking on just little steps of lasagna, they won't pick Brass. it up on sonar. Sonar? Yeah. Like what dolphins and bats use? If you walk <laughs> on lasagna, you go silent to sonar. Let's say you're trying to sneak up on a dolphin. Let's say you're breaking him out of sea world and you don't want to spook him because he's institutionalized. So in his mind at that moment, he doesn't want to leave, but you know what's best for him. Right? Mm. So in order to do that, you're going to need to make a path of lasagna and get right up on him. He doesn't know you're coming. Oh, wait a minute. Real G's could stand for real Garfields. Real Garfields love lasagna. Yeah, oh, right. And moving silence like That's that. That's a triple yeah. entendre. And since he's a cat, he likes fish. And that explains the dolphin part. Mm. <laughs> right, right. So, yeah, obviously, there's a lot of moving parts of this one. <laughs> yeah. Definitely a classic. I'm going to yeah. move it down one rung and put it at A. Let me explain really? why. It's a one to one ratio yeah. entendre. It's great. It's the first I mean, time yeah. it's ever been said. It's super clever. But True. with time, I don't think we need to be fixated on this one as much as other ones. You know, like this That's is like, talked about so much. It's like, all right, I, let's move on. I agree. That's how I, I feel about take. like Greek philosophy, too. Yeah. It's like, I get it. Stoicism. Real. It's an S for me, though. Thank you, Easy. Thanks, yes, it's an S for me, still. Push but, you know. From the song Suicide. I, I build it. mine off fed time and dope lines. You caught steam off headlines and cosines. <laughs> I build mine off fed time and dope lines. You caught steam off headlines and cosines. That's from My Name Is My Name, right? That album? God, that honestly, album Honestly, I think there's better Pusha T lines that could have, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is a good one. But Push has like she like like bro he has some lines, bro. He has some lines, oh, bro. We're talking about Push's reputation here, correct? And like his career. Yeah. You know, bro. off fed time and dope lines. It's a federal crime to distribute cocaine, and that yep. was the business Pusha was in, and that's where he yep. earned his respect. Not from the headlines and cosigns that these yeah. other rappers might be. Is there yeah. something I'm missing, or is it just a good rhyme? You know what I mean? I feel you. Fed time and dope lines, headlines and cosigns. Great rhyme scheme. Mm -hmm. yeah. Is there an entendre that I'm missing? Yeah, it's caught like steam. Like, I don't know. Caught steam. I'm trying to say it, maybe. Caught steam. Cosines. Cosi, a famous kind of science playhouse for children, for them to learn mm. science interactively. Renamed. Imagination Station. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Formerly known as Cosine. Cosines could be a math thing. Cosines, tangents. Pusha T goes on tangents. <laughs> okay. okay. These are the Ooh. signs that yeah. Pusha T, Pusha T's next tangent. <laughs> yeah. Mm. See, I think Pusha T has better bars. This he is does. just a whatever bar to me. I mean, it's 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 well written. It's hard. It's classic like, Pusha T. It's hard, but I got to go C on it. I'm going C on agree. it as well. We can agree yet yeah. again. Okay. Oh, Jesus Christ. Danny Brown on one train. Bitch pussy smell like a penguin. Wouldn't hit that shit with my worst enemy's penis. <laughs> a lot to unpack here. <laughs> a lot. Bitch, smell like a penguin. Well, I hit that shit with my worst enemy's penis. <laughs> but then he says it, and I'm like, yeah. I mean, he says yeah, a hard. lot of shit that nobody else could say and get away Literally. with. Literally. Yeah. First off, what does a penguin smell like? I don't know. <laughs> Is there much to smell in, like, Antarctica? Know. It's not like everybody know. knows what a Stop penguin it. smells like. <laughs> yeah. Like, you don't have a smell in your mind when he says, smells like a penguin. I don't. 
worked at the zoo. You just know from context clues that it's a bad smell. I imagine yep. he's fishy. Right. I guess maybe it's the fish maybe. diet. I think that's what he's that's what's ah, going on here. Ah, okay. okay. These suckers slurp down slimy little herrings, anchovies, shit mm. like that. That little sea fish. Oh, okay. Yikes. Smell like a penguin, so yeah. fish diet. Okay. Hey. Fair wow. <laughs> I like that, I, I'm going to have to move that one. I was going to say B, but I got to move that one up to A because I didn't even think about it like that, Because it's so reductive. Uh -huh. You'd usually say, you know. And I've heard this song so many times. That's crazy. That or hit that in this instance with a 10-foot pole, maybe. Right, the Grinch. Yeah. Right? Mm. <laughs> Isn't that from the Grinch song? He says, like, 10-foot pole. I wouldn't like hit that shit with a 10-foot pole. <laughs> well, I'm not about to put that. Yeah. 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 The, Grinch is a, the Grinch song doesn't talk about pussy okay. or anything, but it says something about, like, I wouldn't shake his hand with a 34 foot pole yeah. or something like that. Usually Real. it's a unit of measurement and a pole. In this instance yep. it's just Danny's worst enemy's penis. <laughs> it's like when you say I wouldn't wish that on my worst enemy. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so like, like I wouldn't hit that shit. If I had my worst enemy's penis amazing thought first of all. <laughs> Literally. I, think I think he has control of it. That's what I mean. Oh. He has control of his guy's like whoa. <laughs> he has control of his worst enemy's penis and Yikes. still even then he wouldn't hit this pussy. This penguin pussy. <laughs> this penguin smelling pussy. Yeah. This penguin pussy. Yeah. Yikes. That's unfortunate, right? Like penguin pussy. Yeah. Penguin pussy. I love this line only when he says it, though I hate saying mm. it myself. I guess the greatest Real. line of all time is something kind of unites everyone. Right. We can mm. all say it. And this, Real. I'm just leave it to the yeah, end. This is an A. It's A. Yeah. yeah. I just a. think the mind that can come up with the second line is one of the things that makes Danny Brown's music so great. Next, yep. 21 Savage from Treacherous Twins. I don't mm. show ID at clubs because they, they know, know that, that I'm, I'm 21. 21. We talked Whoa. about this one 21. in our review of her loss. Well, I don't show ID at clubs because they know that I'm 21. So to explain this one, you have to show your ID to get into a club to prove that you were 21 <laughs> years of age. Correct. Anybody who looks under the age of 35, you got to card them. Mm -hmm. Famous people often do not have to provide their ID because they're famous. They're recognizable. Yeah. They're recognizable. If Lil Wayne walks up, they're not checking his ID. Wait, they know it's Lil Wayne, It's just bro. not going to happen. 21 Savage is a famous person, so mm -hmm. they probably do not check his ID. Because his at name all. is 21 Savage, the double entendre is that they know that he is at least the legal drinking age <laughs> in the U.S. and also he is 21 Savage which is his name. Not my favorite <laughs> song on her loss but probably 21 It's Savage. one of mine, bro. Treacherous Twins. Yo, you my Treacherous Little Twin. You know that we left in and I laid on my kin, bro. It's whatever for you. Like, uh, that's all. Like, that song is like, that's real love right there, bro. People don't understand that though because they don't have a Treacherous Little Twin, bro. People don't know, bro. But you know what I'm saying? Stand out I think that's a good that album. I agree, but I have. I say A or B. Okay, go ahead. When I first heard it, all I could think to myself is, "Wow, how did it take him that long to say that?" And <laughs> it would be an S to your bar Real. if he had said it when he was 20. He's too old mm. for this to be that great of a bar right now. He's 39. Saying. You're saying if he was underage, you think it'd be better? Like he doesn't have to show ID at the clubs. He walks right in because he is 21. He doesn't have to be 21. He is 21. Mm. I understand that. Okay, I guess, but I that's think real. it's. That's valid. Double entendre works both ways. That's valid. I think it you're does. on the wrong part of it. It's and I think that couldn't have happened because 21 Savage didn't become 21 Savage until his 21st birthday. So like, unfortunately in this timeline, that's impossible. But in an alternate one though, that could have been cool actually. Great, I'm just saying it would be a Three, amazing 21 years of age. if he'd said it a few years ago. I don't care when yeah. he says it, to me it's an A, it's not an S, but it's very clever. It almost makes me think Drake came up with it for him. Because I know that Drake wrote some of 21's verses on this yeah. album. And, and vice versa. Sounds like some or Lil Yachty, Lil Yachty did a lot of writing on her loss too. This could have been a Lil Yachty bar. I'm not gonna lie, this could have been anybody that wrote this, honestly. I think Drake would be like, I got the craziest one for you. Maybe. We don't know that, but yeah. it's a C for me. That's crazy. Next, we got Joey Badass from Survival Tactics. Ooh. I got them girls next to the wood like they light year. I'm right, Chia. Trying to get a buzz, trying to pollinate. Steve's got that presidential shit. Time to inaugurate. My P.E. conglomerates. I'm right, Chia. Trying to get a buzz, trying to pollinate. Steve's got that presidential shit. Time to inaugurate. He sounds so young. I got them girls yeah, next to the wood like they man. light year. So being next to the wood... I'm thinking basketball. Courtside. Mm. Courtside. Next Ooh. to the wood. Right. Me okay. Too. You weren't thinking, you pointed at your dick. Like, you okay. guys pointed at the floor. Uh, what am I, what? Okay, sorry. Hey, hey whatever. <laughs> you are disgusting. I think yes. the second part of the entendre could be the wood like that. I got them girls next to my wood. They're near my, they're near <laughs> my dick. I didn't even think about that. 
Bruh. Hard penis. They're adjacent. Bruh. Adjacent to my penis. Yeah, they're hard close. Penis. They're nearer my hard penis. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Okay. Next to the Wood Yikes. Light Day Lightyear, so Buzz Lightyear and Woody, Toy Story's dynamic duo. Woody mm -hmm. and Buzz, best friends. Always mm -hmm. next to each other. Inseparable. Trying to get a Buzz, Buzz Lightyear. That yeah. is Lightyear's first name. And then also, also trying to pollinate. So bees. bees. Buzz Buzz. Bees Buzz. Bees Buzz, bees buzz and yep. they also pollinate. True. Mm -hmm. so that means not, I don't want just a Buzz. I'm trying to get in there. I'm trying to make the whole thing happen. I'm trying to bud a flower. My career is going to be a blooming flower. And then mm -hmm. uh, Steez got that presidential shit. So this is about Capital Steez. Rest in peace. Uh, Rest in peace to Capital Steez, who is on the song with Joey and mm -hmm. is also Joey's partner in Pro Era. Kind of a dynamic duo themselves. Almost the Woody and Buzz oh, of, Pro of, of Pro Era. Literally. Of York scene of 2000. Which honestly, I feel like they could have went with the bars after this bar too, with like all like the PE like bro, bro. They wrote this, bro. He wrote this after school. He was 16, bro. He was 16 when he wrote this, bro. Steve was 18, bro. Bro, this bro, this song is crazy, bro. 2012. And now presidents, when they get elected, are inaugurated. So saying that Steve has what it takes to be president. <laughs> this whole song is insane. The president of rap. <laughs> it's time. I will say, had Capital Steve not tragically passed away, he would be one of the greatest. One of the yep. greatest. Yeah. Like was yep. a fan. And and Joey's a fantastic rapper in his own he right. Is. He just dropped kind of like a winding route to where he is now. He did TV. He's done a lot of different things. And he's very talented. I think Capital Steve would have been more like a J. Cole type of character. Yeah. Yep. Straight focus. Rap it. Great verse. This one is Bro. like, it's just kind of that New York rap. Sometimes mm -hmm. doesn't do punchlines the way I like them. It's very like mm. spread across the verse where you got a lot of different words that connect. Yeah. Real. And it's cool. Jay Z does it. That, mm -hmm. That's very true. I feel like New York rap is very intricate when it comes to like these types of bars, to be honest. That's a very good Fast. job of Nas classically. Nas tying Bad together man. lines. And like, Whoa. And they're like, 43 lines ago, he said this, which <laughs> led to this. Yeah. And you're like, okay. It's so true. to me, this is like a B. This is an S for me. This is probably. I think it's an A. a but if they went with a different bar from that song, I probably would have said S. I just love that song, bro. From the Danger Mouse and Black Thought album. This is from the song Aqu I've only heard one song off this album. I only know Strangers. For Marine. I walked around with the iron for any wrinkle in time. A lot to unpack here. Is there? I don't know. Let's hear him say it. I walked around with the iron for any wrinkle in time. A wrinkle in time's a movie, right? Probably. Mm. But he walked around with that iron. I, yeah, that's a gun. The iron is a gun for any wrinkle in time. Mm -hmm. You iron out wrinkles in your clothes. Okay, sure. Usually at a hotel. Oh, I guess it's because you pack your clothes all tight. And they're always wrinkled. <laughs> That's a story for. An oh no 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 no! If I was talking about drill, I would have said drill. I'm talking about like New York rap, like actual like New York rap, like Flatbush Zombies, like Pro Era, like you know what I mean? Like New York rap. Not that drill business, bro. <laughs> drill is like a whole different thing, bro. I don't even. I don't even think I could. Like, ugh. I don't know, bro. I don't know, bro. Another time. A Wrinkle in Time also, and I didn't have to look this up, by the way, <laughs> is a novel from 1962, a sci-fi novel mm -hmm. that won the Newbery something prize. I didn't finish reading that part. And bro. also is a movie that they made in 2018. Mm -hmm. Starring somebody, in probably. It. Wrinkle in Time is also a phrase. I know right. it, that's it's for sure. like a strange part in time, or just like if you're calling back to anything, like a wrink that was a Wrinkle in Time, the Reggie Bush USC era. What a Wrinkle mm. in Time that was, the Bush push. Yeah. Electric on the... Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. It is great having lunch with you. I love these little dates. Um, we're this one's lunch. We're not eating at all. There's something <laughs> weird. Maybe if I don't know, is it I'm a my the book? Is it just the phrase? I get it. You iron out wrinkles and you got a gun on you. It's just Black Thought's like one of the best rappers of all time Literally. and does all this crazy acrobatic shit. Literally. And to me, this is just like I feel like I'm missing something because it's not that crazy. Yep, yeah, it's same. like a good C for me. My, C. Yeah. It is. So we got Jay Z from So Appalled. Not only am I fly, I'm fucking not playing. <laughs> what? <laughs> Is there anything to unpack here at all? Nothing. I think he's saying not plain. Oh, I'm fucking not plain. Jesus Christ. Mm. Until I heard him say it. Yeah. Like, wow. That makes sense. That makes I sense. I remember sense. this bar from this song. Wow. No, that sucks ass. Like that. Like <laughs> it doesn't suck. It's just. That, that's when that's that's around the time we started to realize Jay Z was kind of getting there. You know what I mean? He was kind of getting up there. That's all. That's all it is. This is 2010, bro. He was what? 38, 40. How does he in 20? Like this? You know what I'm saying? This is a while ago, bro. He kind of, you know, 
you know. <laughs> if I said that, you would roll your eyes so. Which is insane because he's had better bars since then. Like he's had some bars, like he's had some 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 verses that have come out since then that are harder than some of the stuff that came out before this. But like around this time, though, he was just kind of all over the place. But I ain't gonna lie, Hard. you would never sound like with Jay-Z, some bars, that's not what even makes everything. It such a good bar. He's saying, "Oh, plane." Like, I only never sound like Jay Z. Now say plane. <laughs> I'm fucking not plain. See, funny. <laughs> genius. Man. People hate my Jay Z impression. By the way, too much. I'm, yeah, I'm doing the choked up quiver. Yeah, Jay Z. Mm. That's like the only way. It's exaggerated. Yeah. You sound like Jay Z being held hostage for like two weeks. I sound like if Jay Z took a bunch of perks. It's kind of stuck in the back of his throat. I love this one just for like the. It's clever only because he's making use of his gift, his voice. What? Mm. This is so bad. It's awesome. It's not a young thug moment, he though. <laughs> he is dressed nice. And the main thing that is fly. People think of. Fly, fly, fly. What does it? Bug. Planes and birds and bugs. Correct. Okay, yeah, cool. Bugs usually comes in around three. <laughs> yeah, it Planes, does. Planes, birds, rockets, bugs. Rockets isn't fifth. Can you guess four? E.T.'s bicycle. E.T.'s bicycle. Yeah, okay. people think of planes when they think of fly. Right? Yeah. But Jay-Z's fly, and he's not playing. Mm. <laughs> Because that's which means he's either bird, bugs, bugs, bicycle, or a rocket. Okay, I will I will argue he's a Korean has a better plane bar. He does. And I forgot it already. Hold on. Let me think about it again. Oh, oh, it's not even a plane bar, it's a car bar. I didn't have to drive because my outfit fly. I think that's a better bar than this. I ain't gonna lie. Tisa Korean got it. Just saying. Just okay, saying, bro. Cool. Oh, he's fly. He's playing. That's what you think. You see how fly Jay Z is when he comes in. Right. Man, he is he fly. The guy must be playing. But he's, he's not playing. He's not playing. Bruh. F. F. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we get some baby Tron on here. Had to. Eighth wonder of the world. Baby Tron. Bruh. Destroy his whole clique. Now he lonely like opium. Destroy his whole clique. Now he lonely like opium. All right, let's break this one. I remember, like, when I first heard it, I was just like, okay, man. Yeah. <laughs> Destroy his whole clique. Murder his friends. Yeah, murder his wow. friends. Eviscerate them. Yeah. Eviscerate mm. a whole group of people. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Now he's lonely here. like opium. So this is mm -hmm. pertaining to opium, which is Playboy Cardi's label. And mm -hmm. particularly, one of the label's artists... Destroy Lonely, mm -hmm. who you guys may be familiar with for his song No Stylist. He destroyed the click. Or Bane. He's lonely. So this guy's friends were all killed by Baby Tron. Yeah. <laughs> Baby Tron murdered all of this guy's friends. <laughs> he is lonely now because he is without friends. All of his friends Yikes. have been killed, so he is lonely because they were all destroyed, destroyed. by yep. Baby Tron. Correct. Now, he has to the smoke cyborg. Again. It really starts and stops there. I think Baby Tron has much better bars than he this does. one. This is definitely he a stand. He has way better bars than this one. No, because it's a reference. And I right. think references and mm. get a few points in the attention things. You're like, oh, this bar's crazy. He basically yeah. showed that he knew who Destroy Lonely was. Exactly. You know? He yeah. was like, oh, Baby Tron listens to Destroy Lonely. That's sick. I do too. Baby Tron's probably top five in the power rankings for this type of segment. Like when we yeah. continue to do this. Yeah. But this Literally. one's like a C to me. Yeah, it's a C for me as well. Agreed. We love Baby Tron though. Yes, Baby man. Tron has a lot of S's and A's in his category. Yeah, we rock with Baby Tron. just a C for me because I think Baby it's just Tron's a right. reference, but it's nice. Mm -hmm. Kendrick Lamar on high power. I got my finger on the mother fucking pistol aiming it at a pig charlotte's web is gonna miss you i love turning hey. the children's story violent got my finger on the motherfucking pistol aiming it at the pig charlotte's web is gonna miss you so i Ugh. got my finger on the motherfucking pistol great book by the way great movie by the way uh it's kendrick i'm gonna say this one's an a that's just a setup. Scene one, Kendrick's got his finger on the pistol. Aiming it at a pig. Pig meaning a cop here. Police mm -hmm. officer. Correct. Pig, Twelve. Swine. Bacon. Honey baked ham. Pork chop. Fried mm. bologna. To eat your own, I eat cheat your own. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's go. Okay. Pig, also Bruh. farm animal. Charlotte's Web also. is going to miss you. Charlotte's Web is a children's book about a pig who befriends a spider. Charlotte is said spider. Yep. Charlotte's the spider. And it's her web. The pig's name. Oh, it's Wilbur. Wilbur. Right? Something like that. Wrong. You're thinking of Castaway? That's Wilson. No, I wasn't thinking of <laughs> Wilbur. I know what Wilson is. Okay, Wilson's the volleyball from The Castaway. farmer. 
The farmer says, Wilbur. I know, says, but you saying it, you said Wilbur. You said it's either <laughs> Alvin and the Chipmunks or Wilson from Castaways. Maybe Bruh. all those things are at play. <laughs> <laughs> a man of any influences. I was kind of doing my own Bruh. thing. Whatever. Wilbur. Charlotte's Web is going to miss you. I kind of feel like this one is pretty uh, like a cheap connection between the two. Yeah, it's not It feels great. like kind of like a filler thing going on. And for Kendrick, who Bruh. is probably the best rapper alive. Yeah, yeah, Kendrick said some shit that I didn't get until years later. And I understand this one right away or yeah. i don't i mean if there's something deeper here then maybe i don't get it and what if maybe. like charlotte's web was like a 70s court case and it has something to do with pistols i don't know it could maybe i, I doubt it. it could really mean it's not high on my list and kendrick bars though Did you hear about the sequel they made of that book every page is an nft it's called charlotte's web three <laughs> They skipped over two. I can't believe I'm going to say this for Kendrick Lamar. This is a C for me. It's wow. a C. Take it or leave it. Really. Wow. Great song, though. This song should not have been left I would go B lowest, but I think it's an A. a complete mistake by all of us. Mm -hmm. We just forgot to put yeah. it in there. Great song. Great song. Oh, God. Here we go. Now we got Childish Gambino, who, in a weird way, is kind of like a top five power rankings for this segment as yep. well, in yeah. a completely different way. Yep. There's going to be a Childish Gambino bar in every single episode of this, probably, and they're either going to be like the best or worst shit I've ever heard. I yep. swag Jehovah Witness, dude. It never take a holiday. My swag Jehovah Witness, dude. It never take a holiday. Here's the thing I'll say. Bruh. Sure. And he's obviously very inspired by this person. If Lil Wayne said that in 2009, yep. we'd all be like, Bang! He yeah. said that shit. That's yeah. what we'd say. Yeah, there are. That's why I think it's hard, bro. It's like a scene. Some bars that, if said by Lil Wayne or if said by Kanye West, yeah. people would love and yeah. the yeah. love and lines that when Childish Gambino says, then we all roll our eyes. Yeah. If Childish Gambino said the lasagna line, we'd be like. Boo, like <laughs> boring, like real Not cheese will be silenced like lasagna. Yeah, you'd be like, all right, man. <laughs> yeah. So let's break this down. I feel like that probably uh, could happen. My swag happened. Jehovah Witness, the door-to-door -door salesman of religion, a shaved head, mm. kind of default-looking white person, maybe 19 yep. to like 29. Yeah. Kind of in that range. Uh -huh. Young, clueless, really? doesn't really know what's going on. And yeah. it's just out there to spread the word of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And that's usually what they'll ask you. Yeah. Do you have time to hear about our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ? and you will say, fuck off and slam the door in their face. Right. Mm. Or, like my family, you hide behind the couch and turn all the lights off until they leave the porch. His swag Smart. never takes a holiday. It means like no days, no off. days off for yeah. Childish Gambino's swag. He always has it on. Even like January 1st. Jehovah Witness. Probably don't have holidays, religious holidays. It must be that. They don't have religious holidays or it's just like no days off. These dudes are going door to door every single day. It's like, yeah. take a break, will ya? I think that is kind of the case because they will go on days they expect people to be home so they can spend mm. more effectively spread the word oh yeah, yeah. go on and like they'll go on, on, on yeah. sunday uh-huh yeah um d yeah a d zach fox uh, <laughs> shut the fuck up talking to me my guy's barbaric shit could get ugly as fuck like ed sheeran catch you on your off day like ferris shoot you in your larynx <laughs> mm -mm -mm. <laughs> holy shit barbaric barbarism my niggas barbaric shit can get ugly as fuck like Ed Sheeran catch you on your off day like Ferris shoot you in your larynx Zach Fox's group of friends is barbaric <laughs> <laughs> barbarians they're barbarians <laughs> are like some of the earliest humans that's how you would describe mm -hmm. some early humans yeah ruthless beasts I mean honestly though go on Sushi Boy Mexico's like Instagram I feel like that's not a lie. They be they like they be getting down. You feel me? Vikings would be barbaric, you know. Oh yeah. It'd be like, oh, this is brutal. Like, what you people don't do that anymore. There's rules. I'm saying even really? earlier too. I'm thinking like caveman yeah, shit. Totally mm. chasing woolly mammoths off Absolutely. mountains, throwing mm. their kids on big spikes because uh -huh. mm. the stars told them to do. Seeing a kid with a mm. birthmark and throwing him down a mountain, cutting him in half a certain way depending on where the birthmark is to appease the tree spirit. Shit could Yikes. get ugly as fuck, like Ed Sheeran. One of the That's most self-explanatory lines we've had all day. Yeah. <laughs> Ed Sheeran is ugly as shit. He is a hideous beast. Crazy. And shit could get ugly, meaning the situation could escalate into a place where <laughs> things are going wrong and you wouldn't yeah. you wouldn't like how it looks. Yeah. You <laughs> wouldn't want my barbaric friends to escalate this situation or Yikes. it could get ugly. Catch you on your off day like Ferris. Ferris Bueller's Big Day Off. A great mm -hmm. movie. Great movie. Classic. A good time about a high school student. Ferris Bueller, played by Matthew Broderick. Correct. Voice of Simba. <laughs> Plays a little... 
Oh, wow. Loki has the time of his GD life. You know what? When you really think about it, though, and you kind of learn who Ferris is just in those brief moments mm. leading up to like pulling his friends out of school, pretending to be his girlfriend's father, famously making out with her. You kind of learn that maybe every day is like that. He's got a pulley maybe. system and a fake body in his bed. He's got like a secret mm. whistle that he blows and a pigeon mm. comes and like turns his Xbox off for him in case he forgets. Right. And he seems oh, yeah. to be very well off. And so maybe, just maybe, every day is like that for Ferris. <laughs> but this was just his day off. It was his big day yeah. off. It was big. Yeah, he performed in a parade. He went to the Cubs game. He went to the art museum. One of the best mm. art museums in the world, by yeah. the way. Chicago. Chicago. Zach Fox Chicago. here is talking about catching you on your off days. That means like most days you might be alert. Yeah, you're more alert mm. on a day where you're working and you got a lot yeah. of stuff to do. This mm. is you taking a day off. You no chilling. stress, just mm. relaxing. And all of a sudden catching you get a vibe. caught by one of Zach's barbaric friends. <laughs> Zach. Or Zach. If he's hanging out with barbarians, he 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 lest lest he become one. <laughs> you are mm. the company you keep. Shoot you in your larynx. Which is right here, I believe. Wow. It's like yeah, your windpipe. Right, yeah, it's right here somewhere. That is a scientific term for your windpipe, I believe. That would give you a pretty bad case of laryngitis getting shot in your larynx. Not Absolutely. Really. It would most likely kill you. Probably. <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah. Probably. At least it would take away your ability to speak, probably, uh -huh. the rest of your life, so you wouldn't be able to talk shit. Which yeah. probably is what got you into this situation in the first place. Yeah, shut the Maybe. fuck up talking to me. This gets an A from wow. me. Yeah. I'm going to withhold my S. So she's a really good bar. Continue our search for the best. I want to say S, but I have to say A just because I feel like there's bars on other songs on this album. Or EP, I should say, that are just like insanely hard. Best rap lyric of all time. I don't think we found it. This today. is hard this though. for me as well. I'll say that my favorite of the day is probably the Earl bar and the Lil yeah. Wayne lasagna bar, obviously. Yeah. I really love Joey's bar. That's a That was a great memory, nostalgic. And then Jay-Z's bar kind of takes the cake for me. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Comment your favorite rap lyric Bruh. of all time. What is the best rap lyric of all time? We want to find it. Let us wake up. It's the first of the month. Let's know if you like this series, if you want us to do it more. I'll my also teeth and count up. That's where Grant asks for a lot of this stuff and for stuff for other games. Other than that, make sure you like the video, subscribe if you want to see more. All that stuff that I said at the beginning and Graydon leaves these wonderful people with some advice to leave or live their lives by. Every dog has its day and every cat stinks like shit. All right, this has wow. been my TV. Love you. Appreciate you. We will see you in the next one. <laughs> Black and white music. <laughs> That's a mixtape. <laughs> Look, it's off. Crazy. Show your full range of motion. Oh, wow. <laughs> Not oh, wow. bad, right? It looks pretty normal, That's honestly. That's yeah. one week out. It's been one week since you shook my hand. <laughs> you ripped off at a safari. Jehovah's Witness is like their seat. Patron saint. That's not true. Yeah, Jehovah's Witness. He's a guy who witnessed something <laughs> named Jehovah. Nope, Jehovah is another name for God. No, Bruh. yes, it is. Not in their religion. It's like a little guy. I've seen the book. It's guy. like Scientology. You have to pay to see more, and I paid him a lot. So <laughs> Jehovah's another name for God, Bruh. like Elohim or yeah. Yahweh. And so they're they're witnesses Bruh. to Jehovah, who's a little guy named Jehovah. <laughs> it's just not. who witnessed something. Great, yeah, right? LeBron in, probably, in 2007. Yeah, that yeah. would be the thing that makes the most sense. Yeah. Um, I got a new Zach Fox song. He mentioned me, said I was ugly as fuck. <laughs> I don't bother me. I don't care what they say about me, man. I got a wife who loves me. Just had a baby in it. Uh, shape of you, man. Just got to smash it, man, huh? That's got ugly. Quick. Nah. Nah, that's crazy. That's crazy. That's actually crazy. We kept this video short, chat. 32 minutes. That's fire. Uh, Ed Sheeran, that was an Ed Sheeran impression. Probably accurate, not gonna lie. Nah, maybe not. I don't know. Is Ed Sheeran from Manchester? That was a Manchester accent, right? I just made a lot of people from Manchester mad, probably. But, you know, if you're from Manchester, shout out to you. I'm gonna be in your city soon. I'm performing with, um... Who, who am I performing with, chat, in Manchester next month? Um... I want to say I'm performing with, uh, what's his name? Uh, that one dude that was on that one song like a few years ago. You know? We're performing uh, Mom Spaghetti, uh, uh, an, an acoustic contemporary version of the entire Stormzy. Nah, he's, he's not a British artist. Um, I think he's from like Yemen. But he was like, he, like, he already got some emotion though. He already got some emotion though. So like, we doing a, a live version of an Eminem album, the whole thing. It's only five minutes long though, it's no rapping.
It's just instrumental. It's gonna be fire. So if you're in Manchester, pull up. Uh, it's gonna be April uh thirty fourth, thirty fifth. 